The Utah Department of Transportation is improving the 5400 South Corridor west of Bangator Highway. The recently constructed Continuous Flow Intersection, or CFI, at 5400 South and Bangator will be accompanied by two other nearby improvements. A high T intersection at 5400 South and approximately 3900 West, and a through turn intersection, or TTI, at 5400 South and 4015 West. The new high T intersection at 3900 West will improve mobility and access while allowing westbound traffic to flow without stopping. The new through turn intersection to be located at 5400 South and 4015 West will improve safety and decrease congestion by eliminating left turns and rerouting them to nearby U-turn locations. To navigate the through turn intersection, drivers must remember three simple steps. One, drive through. Two, perform a U-turn. And three, make a right turn to complete the movement. Here's an example of how a driver would make a left turn. To turn left onto 4015 West toward the post office, drive straight through the intersection at 5400 South and 4015 West, then stay in the left lane. Wait in the U-turn lane until the signal indicates it's clear to proceed. Once the signal indicates you may proceed, make a U-turn movement and continue along 5400 South eastbound. Complete the through turn by making a right turn onto 4015 West and head southbound. Drivers can make the same through turn movement for three of the four left turn movements at the intersection. A U-turn just east of 4015 West is impossible. So if you're headed east on 5400 South and want to go north towards Kearns Junior High School, you simply have to reverse these steps. One, make a right turn onto 4015 West. Two, perform a U-turn. And three, go northbound through the intersection to complete the movement. New pedestrian traffic signals at 4015 West and Sam's Boulevard will improve safety and visibility for kids crossing the street to and from school. The signals will show pedestrians when it's safe to cross the street. This improvement will be accompanied by school crossing signs and pavement markings, which will alert drivers to the pedestrians in this area. UDOT is making these improvements to increase safety, reduce congestion, and accommodate projected growth in the area.